hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a new angular application and then we executed this application and saw the by default angular page and in today's video we will install ui library in our angular application and after this we will create shared module for the basic imports as well so let's get started so for the ui library in our attendance project we will use ng zoro and you can see the website of this library by visiting ng and design slash docs slash introduce and on this page we will scroll down and as you can see under the installation we have the command to install this library in our angular application and now we will copy this command and we will go to our angular application and in our angular application we will create a new terminal and we will paste this command here and after this we will hit enter and as you can see the process is started and now it is searching for the compatible version and now it shows the message as ng zoro 19 will be installed and now we need to confirm so we will answer this as yes and as you can see the package installation got started now let's wait for some time And as you can see the package installation got completed now it will ask us some questions and the first question is enable icon dynamic loading and we will answer this as yes and after this it is asking to set up the custom theme file and we will answer this as no and after this we need to choose the locale code and we will go with en underscore us and after this it is asking to choose the template to create the project and we will select blank and now it will update the packages and as you can see ng zoro installation is complete and in the result of this it updated the component html and app.config files and now let's run our application And as you can see our application is up without any errors and now let's go to the browser and as you can see the home page of our application got updated and now it shows the ng zoro logo and it says you have arrived and this means our ui library got installed successfully in our angular application and now let's go back to vs code and now we need to create a shared module in our angular application and we will use this shared module to organize the basic imports and then we will use this module in every component of our application so to create the shared module we will right click on the app folder and we will open it in integrated terminal and in this terminal we will give the command ng g for generate m for module and we will name this module as shared and as you can see our shared module is ready and we got a shared folder and now let's open this and in this we got shared.module.ts and now in this we need to add the imports for the basic modules and to do this in the imports array after the import of common module we will add forms module and after the forms module we will add reactive forms module and by using this we will create reactive forms and after the reactive forms module we will add the import for http client module and with this we will make http api calls to our backend application and after the http client module we will add the imports for router link and router outlet which will help us in the routing and after this we need to export all of these modules as well and to do this after the imports array we will create exports array as well and in this exports array we will add the same modules and after this we will click on quick fix and we will add all missing imports and after this let's save this file and after this we need to create a file for the imports of ng zoro component and to do this we will right click on the app folder and i will paste a file and as you can see we got a file with the name of ng zoro and module and in this file we have the imports for all the components of ng zoro which we will use while building this project and for example to create the buttons we will have the import of ng button module 
and now we need to import this module in the shared module as well so let's open shared module and in this file in the imports array we will write ng zoro and module and then we will mention this in the exports as well and after this we will click on quick fix and we will add the import and after this we will save this file and after this let's run this application again and as you can see our application is up without any errors and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create login page in our angular application